During the previous sections, you'll learn how to drive your implementation using the Success by Design framework. In this section, we are going to discuss the available tooling. During the previous sections, you'll learn how to drive your implementation using the Success by Design framework. In this section, we are going to discuss the available tooling that you have to execute Success by Design framework on top of your own implementation methodology and toolset. The tooling will be available through the fast track for Dynamics 365 implementation portal. This new portal is being rolled out in phases and currently covers the fast track expansion program. And with the time, we're going to include more fast track service levels. As we go through the process of showing you the different sections of this portal, you will discover that one of the core components of this tool is to allow you to collaborate with the fast track team, but at the same time, provide you access to the same knowledge base that the fast track team uses. This knowledge base is all about how to assess the different reviews and workshops, so you can use it to execute your own reviews, like Solution Blueprint or Wallet Readiness Reviews, and workshops that collaborate with the fast track teams when we directly execute those reviews. If you are collaborating with a solution architects today in fast track, this is the same knowledge base that we use here at the fast track team. But now with the benefit that you can get the guidance in advance and you can better prepare and work to mitigate any risk that you could identify yourself in advance of those reviews. The portal will also offer other tooling that will allow you to communicate with the fast track team or get insights about where to focus regarding any potential risk that you have during your implementations. And at the same time, it will allow you to manage your own engagements through the life cycle of the project, at mitigating those risks identified, but also at collaborating internally with your own teams. Also, it's important to know that this portal will be blended with the time with the other portals that you use today, like the Power Platform Action Center and Lifecycle Services. So we we'll look in the near future to provide you a single experience not just from the implementation experience, but also the servicing of the solution. So stay tuned. This set of experience cover the different needs at every stage of your implementation. Even though all this experience will not be available on day one of the portal release, we will continue adding this as part of the ex executing the vision of enrollment of this portal. We are excited to show how we are thinking about the portal so you can see the direction and why this portal will add value to your own teams. So keep in mind that these experiences are subject to, to change though. Also, depending on the program level that we assign to your implementation project, you will find different level of these experiences, but under the same themes. The nomination experience is connected to the type of engagement that we had with you as a fast track. We look for you to nominate your projects for two programs only, under the Fast Track program and the Fast Track expansion program. Onboarding can happen at different levels. Onboarding a new partner organization or onboarding your implementation team that is about to start a new project. For the first, we will work with you to get access to the portal. For the second, you will be able to set your implementation teams as you see the project available in the portal. During this experience is when we update the demographics of your project based on the information that we have, like a scope of the project, for example. The learning capabilities also will be in different type of learning methods. One of the most important and at the center of the success by design is the knowledge articles. These knowledge articles will provide you the guidance and insights on how to execute your own reviews. For example, if you want to know what type of scenarios and recommendations we provide based on certain patterns, I will show you later how you can consume this knowledge and from where. So great news, this, avail this is available today and the content will keep expanding. The review experience is one of the most important features that we will provide through this portal. 
In this experience, you will be able to either execute your own reviews under the Success by Design framework or collaborate with the fast track architects on the outcomes of the reviews. So you have, you can take action to mitigate. Tracking is the next step of the process after the review is completed. This outcome, this is the outcome of every workshop or review. And the intention here is that you have the tracking mechanisms to mitigate any risk that was discovered during the review. For insights, you will find this experience across the different areas of the portal through the aggregation of the most common risk categories as a result of executing the success by design framework during your implementation and adjusting the success measures. Also with inside signals based on the implementation telemetry or through rich dashboards tailored for the different personas. Other of the great values of these portals will be, will be that we will be able to provide is the capability to collaborate with the fast track team and your own teams. The portal is interconnected with the fast track internal tooling. You will be able to push comments of questions on findings during reviews and tracking artifacts, and those will be visible to the fast track architects working with you and vice versa, all in the context of your project. We had more plans here like requesting guidance for a specific architectural challenge that you could identify during your projects or providing contextual guidance as we observed necessary. The help experience will expand through different areas as well, either requesting ad code guidance or using a virtual assistant that can resolve in real time the questions that you could have for the most common patterns that we serve. And finally, we want you to complete your projects with success and close the engagement. Through this experience, together, we will validate that our customer is successful, successfully able to operate, so we can confirm our core objective on having a customer that can achieve more and successfully. Now let's talk about how to get there after we have explored all the different possible experiences that you will find on day one but also with the time using the portal. As we mentioned, with the portal, we aim to be with the time an extension of your own partner implementation tooling, but also at the same time to be an extension of the fast track team internal tooling. So this will be a common ground for both teams and with the time for customers as well. Today, you will get access to this portal at reaching the experience.dynamics.com site. In this site, you will find a tile to reach the fast track implementation portal. Keep in mind that, you, that for you to access this portal, you need to sign in with your own credentials. But also, if this is the first time that you try to access this portal, we will need to set your organization first. This will be done at engaging with the fast track team and agreeing to execute the success by design framework with us on top of your own implementation practice. Also, the portal will be available through the time in waits for the different programs that we offer. Today, we offer this portal for the fast track expansion program only, but this will continue evolving in the near time. So, access required to steps. Onboarding your, your partner organization first with an administration, administrator from your organization, and second, the admin at the organization at setting the access for your own team members with the proper security role and projects that that team member can have access. For this second, you have full control. Another key fact about this portal is that we use the same technology that we prescribe you to recommend and implement with our customers. This portal is created under the Power Portal technology. With the time, you will see all the great things that you can also achieve using this tool on your own team at when you implement portals with, with our customers. We have explained 
the different portal experience and how to access it. Now we're going to see how those experiences materialize directly in the portal with some core features. The homepage that you are going to see when you connect to the portal will depend on the security role assigned to your user. It can be a project lead or a project team member. If we thought the portal is on the first phases of innovation, it already provides features that facilitates the interaction with FastTrack. As we keep progressing during the next months, you are going to start to observe new capabilities on guided experience, collaboration, and intelligence, and others as mentioned before. As you can see, the portal follows the design patterns of the Power Platform Action Center with the features of the navigation panel on the left. The panel, the left panel will keep expanding as we keep releasing new features, but let us focus on one of the most important and at the center of your engagement, the project feature. The project form will contain all the demographics about your engagement with your, with your customer. Some of the information that you will see here will come from the fast track team. That will explain why you will see some read only values. We set that information at the start of the implementation before we engage and release the project for you. There will be other values that you will have full control and you will be able to update and communicate with fast track. As an example, the timeline. Here you will be able to provide updates that there are not just for the fast track team, but also for your internal team members that at collaborating with your implementation or even the partner practice leads. As we keep progressing, you're going to see health indicators that will light up about your project. One of the first features that we are releasing in this first version is the success measure indicators, which as we mentioned before, it's part of the insights experience and it will show you an aggregated view where to focus regarding risk and the most common reasons at using categorization. Those measures will be part of the outcome of every review you execute or directly created as a result of the risk issues or escalation management being tracked independently or as a result of a review. One of the most exciting features we are providing on day one is the access to the same knowledge base we have accumulated during years of experience at interacting with thousands of implementations here at Fast Track. And now this structured knowledge is shared through the portal. This knowledge base is part of the learning experience. This same knowledge base we use internally at Fast Track by, uh, by the architects that we have interacted with you as up in the past. And we keep creating this knowledge base at evolving on it every day. This way, you can learn and discover in advance, but also you can provide feedback of this knowledge. Remember that. These knowledge articles are structured in a way that you can find content by each, by each specific review. The content is organized using a hierarchy. For each re review type, for example, an SBR or wallet readiness, you will find a set of topics to cover. And every topic will have a group of items. Every item will have a set of questions and every question will have a collection of possible scenarios that can match the individual finding after answering the question in place. Every scenario will contain a recommendation. And from here, we can move to the action to mitigate any risk or issue identify increasing our chances for success. The good thing is this feature, you will have access to a searching capability or access this directly through the project. As we keep progressing, you will see how this knowledge will light up during the review experience. For example, if you're doing a Golet review, you will have access to this knowledge on how to do the Golet readiness review. This experience is today being 
develop and it will be available soon. At this point, we have explained about how the projects are maintained, but also how the knowledge articles will provide you some important learning capabilities. Now let's explore how these two core elements are related to each other. Projects will, will be a container of different transactions that happens during the implementation timeline. These project transactions can be events and reviews. On the initial version, we had limited capabilities on the review experience, but that will change soon. Every time that you create an event to execute a review, in the future, you will link the review type, for example, a wallet readiness or a solution blueprint. The outcome of every review will generate risks or issues, and depending on the timeline, the risk can be converted into an issue, but always both are connected to an action because you want to mitigate both. And of course, we will provide you insights based on telemetry that will help you assess if your risk or issues are still relevant or not. Or you can directly close the artifact after you mitigate it once you execute any recommendations with an action. The reviews will be eventually connected to the knowledge articles in the context of the reviews. This way you follow a structured approach for your review. Keep in mind that reviews are also workshops. For the purpose of this explanation, I'm using the, in general the review work. The main difference between the knowledge article and the review are that in reviews, you introduce the specific findings connected to the questions in place. And based on that, you select the appropriate scenario and at doing that, you get as a result a recommendation. Keep in mind that in many cases, that findings can be a rec the recommended path. So that way it will be an assertion rather than a risk or issue that you need to correct. This is an important concept that even though that we do not provide the full review experience in day one, we're working towards that and soon you will see it in action. We already mentioned how this knowledge base has been created after interacting with thousands of implementations at the Fast Track team. The power of this portal is that you will be able to provide feedback about the knowledge base. So together we can keep increasing the quality of this content with more patterns as you identify those in your own implementations. We mentioned Initially, the Success by Design workshops have a breadth of reviews at going deeper on each of them and providing the necessary interactions to facilitate the reduction of risk. During the implementation journey, you can track progress and track resolution of risks and issues connected to the implementation. Keep in mind that these interactions and the updates that you do help us to collaborate more efficiently with Fast Track streamlining the communication process where it matters the most. Notice that some of these interactions will be automated with the time. For example, very soon you will not need to maintain manually a success measure status. Those will be automatically maintained as you mitigate your risks and issues. Same with risks and issues. Today you will create those manually, but soon those will be auto-generated as an outcome of your review or workshop but you will still keep the flexibility to create those manually as an ad hoc artifact. And many more interactions will be added, so keep tuned. Hello. This is a demonstration of the fast track for Dynamics 365 implementation portal. Uh, for this demo, I'm gonna show you the different roles that we have today in the portal. We support two of them. One is the partner lead, and the second is the partner team member. Today, this portal is intended only for partners. In the future, we are going to allow also customers to get into this portal. But for now, let's focus on the partner experience. For these two roles, the partner lead basically has access to all the projects under the partner organization. And the partner team member has access to the projects that the person has been assigned to. The second aspect to keep in mind is that in order to get access to this portal for the first time, 
we need to help you to set up your access in, in if that is the let's say the first time that your organization is coming into place to this portal you will work with the fast track team to to get you there but beyond that point you have full control of who can have access in your organization into the portal so the different experience that i'm going to show you uh, will be available for one of these two roles for the purpose of this demo it's I'm using the partner lead and I'm going to explore the portal in full. One of the first things that you will see once you log into the portal is the dashboard. And this dashboard is the version one of the dashboard, but we are going to continue evolving on the different experiences that we offer here. But at the start, we are thinking, yes, you will see all the most common projects, the projects that you have already going live in the next 30 days as one of the Let's say first view. Of course, you can go directly to the port to the project and open the details behind that project. There are also other uh, grids that will show you uh, artifacts about how you can mitigate any risk or uh, solve any issues that you have identified during the implementation lifecycle. We call this the tracking artifacts. Risks are basically things that you have time to resolve. They are more the preventive approach of resolving any challenge that you have during implementation. For the cases, which we call, let's say, there are cases, but it can be an issue. It's more the reactive approach. You need to take action immediately, right? You have short period of time. And many times they can be typically a goal a blocker or it can be escalated. So keep an eye on these tracking uh, artifacts because they are the ones that with the with the time you need to keep resolving and making sure that you have resolution. We are going to explore one of them in, in the coming minutes. Also, in the same dashboard, you are going to be able to see uh, uh, right now in this version, like uh, the schedule for the next events that you have in your project. What is an event? Under the Success by Design framework, an event is a review. Think about it, a solution blueprint or a goal I read it as review or any workshop that you need to execute. So keep in mind that I am the partner lead and I will be able to see across all the projects that I have under my access, of course, as an organization. In this case, I have two events happening in the next seven days. One is goal I review and solution blueprint and of course, every time that I do a review, I connect uh, an event, I connect to a review, content review. What it means that? It means that it's not, the event is not just, a, a, let's say, the action to do a review, but it's also you connect uh, the review content that will help you to write that review. For example, how I should be doing a goal like readiness or what type of questions I should go and make about the solution of print, and of course, pick the right scenarios and recommendations as part of that review process. So events and reviews comes together. If I jumped into the section for projects, what I'm gonna see is the list of all my projects by default. But there are other views that you can explore. For example, projects that you have already closed, that you have completed your engagements. So you can go back into the history. For now, it's all these my projects are projects where you have access as a project owner, or as let's say you are managing that project. But you can have access to related projects. If you are, a, let's say, a project team member, maybe you are not the responsible of the project itself, but you have access to the project as a stakeholder, as a participant in that project. So there are different ways to get access to those projects based on how, how your user has been set it up. So always keep in mind this one. Let's explore one of them. Once I open the project uh, details, I will be able to explore all the details and, and maintain all the details behind that project as a, let's say, from the demographics point of view. In the summary, 
you will see fields that are super important for you, like uh, the execute summary or the current status of the project or the phase. This phase is in connection to the success by design framework, which is, if you can see, they're generic, right? There are containers. Uh, it's, not, it's not intended to, uh, let's say, take away your own methodology. It's actually something on top of your methodology. So it's universal phases, yeah? But this is important because we also, in the future, will trigger guidance behind those phases. Based on the phase that you are, we provide you contextual guidance. So it's super important that you keep maintaining this, this type of phases. There are also other information like a goal a day, a estimated goal a date that is super important that you keep documented because in combination to this information of the phases, also we trigger guidance. And other collaboration tools that you can use, not just, let's say, for us to work with you, but also how you can work with your own teams and collaborate with your own teams. Keep in mind that the team working in your project have access to this, if you provide that, of course, but you can uh, provide updates and everybody has visibility of what's going on in the project. Other important component is what happens on the top. Today, we bring some insights of about, for example, in which phase is this project or the number of risks or cases that we have be, uh, behind it or success measures. I'm gonna talk more about success measures, but think about success measures is an aggregated view of uh, the, uh, the risks and cases, but using a category, yeah? So that way you also need not just the number of success measures, but also which ones are in a path that you need to take action. Let's take the example. If you have three risks that are connected to an architectural challenge, so success measures will aggregate the three of them under the category architecture. So you know that in this project, you are having challenges connected to architecture. And you can, uh, uh, let's say, focus the guidance for that implementation team in that aspect. Imagine this data using that across all the different projects that you have as an organization. You will be able to categorize the most common challenges that all the teams are facing across and not just one single project. And that's what one of the values that you will get with the partner lead role in the partner section to see across, not just one project at a time. So think about it. This is more statistics, but not just that, also how you can take action to improve. As mentioned, the events and reviews are connected each other. In the future, events will also will trigger communication. It will trigger, a, let's say, synchronization with even with your outlook. Today, right now, is you schedule the review when it happens, what is the scope of that review, and you connect it to the uh, content that supports that review. This content uh, uh, on the, uh, let's say, in this case, if I create an event for Solution Blueprint, you connect the content, the knowledge for Solution Blueprint, so that way you have a framework to execute that review. I'm going to explore a little bit more about this when we reach the knowledge base which is, is one of the most important values of this portal today. We are sharing the knowledge that we use as fast track with you. So you can, know, you can know in advance how to approach the reviews, but not just that, where to look, what the scenarios and recommendations you can pick, so you can be even proactive on your fixes. Every time that we secure reviews, the outcome of those reviews are the tracking artifacts. So it's great that you go and discover and you identify opportunities, but if you don't take the action to improve on those opportunities, it's meaningless, right? So we want you to provide a mechanism to mitigate all these findings, all those risks and issues that you could identify during your journey. So the tracking is, is designed for that. You can create risks or cases directly, manually. But very soon, we are going to offer the link of this with the review itself. So every time that you close a review, 
those artifacts will be generated and so you can focus on the mitigation piece. The next part is the success measures. As I mentioned before, success measures is an aggregated view of using categories of the tracking artifacts. You can have 80 risks or issues at the same time, but all of them aggregates to one of these levels. It can be all connected to product feature gaps, or it can be uh, from the parent category architecture focused on data migration. So now you have a conversation, right? Now you can work with your own teams and say, okay, we are seeing a high concentration of a risk and cases connected to support. We need to do something about it, right? And it's when we can collaborate, right? We can talk, let's say fast track and partner can work together and find a path for that, especially if there are feature gaps. Or what about if the issue is about uh, how the application lifecycle management is being implemented in that specific project. So you will see a higher concentration of risk connected to that category. So that's one of the values of the success measures. It's the statistics that are monitoring how the project is progressing. Let's explore the insights. Insights, that's another a big, let's say, a investment that we are making into the portal, and it's taking one of the internal tooling and fast track now externally, which is a base insights is all based on telemetry, telemetry connected to the environments behind your implementations. But the difference is that that telemetry has not just the telemetry, but also the interpretation of that telemetry. And on top of that, the guidance of how, what to do about it, especially when they are in red. So we will keep growing in this experience of bringing more and more telemetry uh, that connected to your own environments. And But the concept here, and I'm gonna take one of the examples that if I, let's say, I want to see telemetry related to performance uh, on my environments. Once you, uh, let's say, explore that, you will see all the executions that we run behind that, uh, let's say, uh, telemetry ca category for performance. And each of those runs are looking to different aspects, like, uh, for example, errors, deck logs, uh, and so on. So technically, you will be able to not just get a result of the outcome of the analysis on that telemetry signal, but also even open the run and then understand why why this is important. Yeah, the best practice behind it, why we're checking that and what type of things you can do on your side to fix that, especially if there is a, a signal that is in the red zone, right? So this is always running behind the scenes for your own implementation and this will continue growing. So in this case, we are covering the gap that we used to have in the past that, yeah, we have telemetry, but what to do about, about it? What action I need to take? Now you have an interpretation, but also the guidance on if you need to do something about it. Sometimes we need to do something on our side. So there are some signals that we are actually watching all the time to make sure that the health of the project is good. But there are many times that is connected to how you as an organization are implementing the product. So super valuable uh, tool. Let's go back to the next interesting section here, the knowledge base. And I'm gonna spend more time in the knowledge base when we reach this point in the menu about knowledge articles. But like I mentioned, the knowledge base is it's one of the, uh, another big investment on first on documenting the knowledge that we have accumulated after thousands of implementations in fast track and now we're putting that at your fingertips, here right in your project. And that knowledge will be categorized by review types, and you will see that with more details in the knowledge articles. If I go to the knowledge articles, this same knowledge will be there, but with the option to do search. Yeah, 
let's say if I take one of the reviews, the Golight Readiness Workshop, and I want to fo focus on administration aspects of that specific review. So I will get the list of type of questions that I should be caring about when I am doing this review. And let's say if I pick the second example here about generic email account and open that, I will get the scenarios, the possible scenarios connected to that question. So in your implementation, it's likely that you will make that question. So what about my service account on this implementation? Why, I mean, what, what is the answer? Do I'm using a generic one or no? Why this is matters? So you will have some specific scenarios. You can have one, two, or three, depending the question. And the most important thing here is that also you have the recommendation, the knowledge, why, why this is important and why you should be doing to correct that. So this is the type of knowledge that you will see across thousands of questions that we have all the time. But the difference is that those are, has been categorized by review types, topics, items, and from there we go through the questions, and scenarios, and recommendations. Imagine this knowledge engine connected to your reviews. When you are doing a wallet readiness, you start to find, let's say, answer those questions, connecting the findings related to your question, and later selecting the scenario and the recommendation. Yeah. So your team knows what to do, and maybe you know already, but you can get a confirmation of what you are already doing. That's a great value in the, in the portal. We are planning more things around this knowledge base on how you can consume this knowledge. It can be either doing an ad hoc search or consuming this knowledge right in the review and tomorrow using virtual assistance and many other ways. So we had big plans for this future. Feature. Let's go back to the project. Other component is the project users. And this is where things start to take shape in terms of the access to the project. In this case, I can add new project users that can have access to this specific project. And this is how you're building your team. Or if I am a, par a partner lead, of course, I will have access by default into this project. Yeah. So now this will take me to another experience, which is the partner, the partner experience, the partner lead experience. And this will, the dashboard will look a little bit different because there are other different questions that we have. If you, if you see here, I can see all the pro upcoming go lives that they have across of my organization. So this is becoming more like my, my, like my control panel of everything that is happening eh, on my different implementation teams. But also I can see where they are in terms of success by design, in terms of the phases, who is starting, who is implementing, who is operating, who is live already. And how we are assessing this project in general is going red, yellow, or green. So I can put more attention on the ones that requires that, like for example, the ones that are in red. Same thing, remember the insights that we were seeing a, a, across a specific, a, for a specific single project? Well, this is also available across. The insights will also monitor signals that are in the, let's say, green, yellow, or red path. So I can even open the signal and take action, similar experience that you saw in the project itself. But right now I'm looking at this from the partner lead role, I see a cross. So this is similar to the success measures, but with telemetry. So if I am checking the health of all, all my engagements, that's a great, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's say a great way to look at what the different teams are doing and where I should be putting an, an attention. Perhaps I have my own internal architecture team and I want them to take a look on this across. Same experience with the tracking artifacts. If you see the conversation, it's not anymore one single project. It's across the projects. Because here I can see all of them and I can see if some, some of those artifacts were highlighted as even as a blocker. 
Yeah, and if I am, let's say, monitoring this, of course, I will be interested in those. And maybe I can check exactly what the team is bringing here uh, as a blocker. And I can take also proactive action to help that team. And then everybody, we want everybody to succeed here. So we are bringing visibility of all this type of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, opportunities. Events. This part comes again more for a partner lead. And this, we are going to keep evolving more like a type of even as a scheduler type of thing. So imagine your calendar where you can see where the people is investing time in terms of a different reviews and where, when are they coming. The main point here is I can have the visibility when the next reviews are happening and for what. And also potentially I can support those teams of bringing even more people that can follow that review. I can bring F per matters into a goal of readiness for people that they have very good understanding of goal of readiness. Or I can do the same thing in solution blueprint and so on, or maybe a performance review. So it's a great way also to reallocate people and to put the right people at the right time for the right review. And I'm doing this from the partner lead persona. And of course, not just the event, also I can get I can get access to the review itself and see how what was the outcome of that review and what the team found in that review that at the end ended as a risk or as a case. So all these stories connected. And keep in mind, everything under the umbrella of success by design framework, the reviews, the events, the risks, the cases, and the success measures, of course. Now, there is another great uh, important angle here. Remember the knowledge articles? We say that these knowledge articles is an accumulated experience of years and thousands of implementations, but also we want to hear from you. And in that experience is basically uh, when we are consuming this content, you can also provide feedback in the tool about that specific topic. So fast track can also uh, monitor this feedback and take action, say, well, this implementation, implementation team uh, is also finding a conflict maybe in this content, or maybe they have another scenario that we are not even observing yet, and it's important also to document. So if you see, this will become like a community of knowledge. We all learn, we all, we all share, yeah? So, this, this uh, uh, let's say, feedback, we, can, we take it very seriously and we, we use it to improve the content. So this can become later as an active status. So it's a feedback loop here. You provide feedback, but also we take the action to review it. And why not? This can become later and a standardized recommendation. So I encourage you to provide feedback on anything that you see related to the content, not just the product or the portal itself, but also the knowledge base. Yeah, because the next time your implementation teams will be benefit on that. We are going to introduce guidance that also is coming from you. So we all learn. So this is the, 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 the partner, ex, partner lead experience from the dashboard point of view. There are other aspects like the nomination. Right now, as you know, all the, uh, let's say, projects under Fast Track expansion and Fast Track requires a nomination. You can access the nomination form from here, uh, and, and, and it will take you to the right portal so you can complete that process. For the help, that's another interesting aspect, and this is one area that we're going to continue growing as well. This is version one. And today we offer answers to the most common asked questions, the most frequent asked questions, but also some details about how to get access into the portal. And additional help on the different sections or pages of the, on, on the portal. For example, if I open help for the home page, you will see a lot of the details that I am say, sharing already in this the presentation. So I encourage you to go and take a look and also it can help to support the learning of your team members. 
in the future, we are going to provide even more additional methods to share the knowledge on how to use this portal with small video clips as well. To contact us right now, the, the version one, we have a team behind this portal that is will be monitoring any issue that you could identify during this portal. And even why not ideas about the portal. So feel free to use this account to share that with us. In the future, we are going to provide a proper, a proper mechanism for feedback that we're going to capture additional metadata about your, let's say, idea or support request. And finally, the administration. This is one, one of the sections that is available to the partner lead. And this is how I can go and create access to people across different projects not just one project at a time. So this is something that basically is part of the administration and it will not be visible for the par uh, partner team members, for example. Well, this is taking me to the end of this presentation. This portal is being developed and created using the same technology that we prescribe for you in your own implementations using the power portals. So this is a great way to see also how this type of technology can be used on your own projects. We are using the same products, the same Dynamics products to drive our engagement between you as a partner and Fast Track. And keep tuned that this, this, this uh, let's say, uh, portal will continue evolving with the time and we're going to introduce more features and rich features and also get the feedback from you and improve what we have available. Okay. So I hope that you enjoyed this demonstration and feel free to contact us for any feedback, comments, or issues that you could have accessing the portal. Thank you.